Today I'll be doing a quick speed test with the Xperia Z5 over here and the Nexus 6P running Android N Developer Preview 4. Both of these phones are a generation old now. Both of them are running Snapdragon 810 processors with 3 gigs of RAM. But because the Z5 is new for me and I only have this phone for the next couple of days, I want to at least do a test and see how this fares against the Nexus 6P, especially when running Android N Developer Preview 4. The speed test isn't going to be anything too in-depth. I'm just going to be downloading a few apps and then seeing which one opens up quicker or what game loads faster. I'll try to open a bunch of apps too and see if we can get everything still running running in memory. We'll see if one handles RAM management better than the other. Now with this speed test, like other speed tests that I've done, I'm not going to be uninstalling any apps. I'm not going to be disabling any apps either. The only apps I'm going to be adding are the ones that are going to be relevant to the speed test. On both of these phones, there are no SIM cards, no micro SD cards inside any of them. I'm just going to be running both of them off of Wi-Fi. You know, I try to keep things on the same level playing field. All right, both of these phones were factory reset. I put the apps that I want to use to test it out with. First one up is is Amazon three two one like the Sony came up there first, but just by a hair. These aren't going to be things that I'm going to be picking out, especially if it's just by like half a second or whatever. It's not a big deal to me, but I just want to see if we can still get all of these running, and I want to see these more intensive apps with games and see if there's a real difference there at all. All right, Play Movies is next. Three, two, one. YouTube, three, two, one. Spotify, three, two, one. All right, Uber, three, two, one. The Nexus 6P obviously opened up a lot quicker here. It might have something to do with the location settings, I'm not sure. Netflix is next, three, two, one. Alright, what I'm going to open up next are the games, which are more graphics and processor intensive, and I want to see if there's really a big difference at all, or if they're about the same because they're using the same hardware. Or at least very similar hardware. Alright, Dead Trigger 2 is first. 3, 2, 1. There definitely was a little bit of lag on the 6P there. All right, I'm gonna leave those in the background and I'm gonna open up Asphalt 8 next. Three, two, one. While this is downloading, let me just open up the next game, might as well. Next game here is Real Racing 3. Three, two, one. All right, this one looks like it's downloading too. You know, I have to mention, and I forgot to mention this, that on the Sony Xperia Z5, this is running a 1080p screen, and on the Nexus 6P, it's running a 1440p screen. So that might make a little difference when opening up these apps. While we're waiting for Real Racing 3, let's try Mortal Kombat X. Three, two, one. All right, the Z5 opened up first here, and now that I think about it, it probably has to do with the 1080p screen versus the 1440p screen. Die. All right, we have both of those in the background now. Let me double check now and see where Asphalt 8 is at. Still downloading, this one's still behind. Take a look at Real Racing. These are both downloading as well. Let's go ahead and open some of the earlier apps that I had up. Amazon looks like it's still working.
play movies as well. That one seems fine. Looks like YouTube had to refresh itself, but it's up and running. Spotify. Uber. That one's refreshing itself on Netflix, so that one looks like it wasn't able to hold it. That's weird, I wonder what happened there, because it's still not loading. Alright, I'm gonna leave this here, gonna go back and check the other app. Both of these are still up. And now it's put me in landscape. I don't want that, really. Mortal Kombat X is fine. I believe this is still downloading and still behind. This one's good to go, but I'll wait for it. We still have everything else in the background here. All right, I'm gonna reopen Real Racing 3. Three, two, one. Z5 is first. That was a big difference there. I'm pretty sure a lot of that has to do with the resolution size. Alright, Asphalt 8 finished here. Still have all the other apps in the background. Let's go ahead and open this up. 3, 2, 1. Oh, still there. 3, 2, 1. So despite having the same resolution, it looked like both of these opened at around the same time. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just try to open up the other apps, make sure everything is still running in the background. Let's uh, pick Dead Trigger 2. Both of them are there. Oops. Let's go to MKX. Both of those are running. And we'll pick some of the smaller apps. Play movies. Oh, that one took a little time there. Yep. Amazon. This thing is not straight up. That one refreshed itself. I don't know if this Netflix is still having an issue here, which is weird. Just seemed like it got stuck for some reason. Real Racing 3. Yeah, both of those are good. So for the most part for this speed test, it looks like both of them work pretty well. There might be a little discrepancy here and there on what opens up faster, but I don't think it's that big a deal. When it comes to the games though, it looks like the Z5 does open it a bit faster, and I'm pretty sure that has a lot to do with the 1080p resolution versus the 1440p resolution on the 6P. And I'm only guessing that because everything else is pretty much similar. The same processor, the same GPU, both have 3 gigs of RAM, so I'm just assuming that's how it works. That's good news though for the Xperia Z5 to know that it does does have a bit of bloatware, but still seems to keep up with a stock version of Android on the 6P, also running Android N Developer Preview 4. Now, running Preview 4 might be a little buggy, so it might not be as stable or as well performing, but it still seems pretty snappy, the way it is. I can't complain. Either way, both of these phones seem to perform pretty well, regardless of what's on it. <laughs>